Y'all probably say, where exactly are you going with this? I see you really trying to take it there. Old school flow, chew you out, ain't fair, Jordan Pay. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, another Zob, back at you anyways. What I want to get into today, but before, I, what's basically about reputation, what is people can, what do people consider a, a reputable, whatever, you know what I mean? Like, it, it kind of makes no sense to me, but I, I guess I'll cover in order to clarify a few things as far as, like, I'm concerned on that, on that note. But anyways, before that, I want to just say, hey, gracias, and thank you to everybody that has really been on uh, the second channel, the co-channel I do with me and my son with the live reactions. We are trying to build it up, you know what I mean? And it's it's slow going because we had to shut down the first channel. Well, actually, they shut it down on their own because we got copyright strikes. That's when we didn't really know what we were doing. But now that we're on board, you know, for anybody that was on that channel before, hopefully you go back to it. Uh, and hopefully my views start going back up, you know what I mean? I understand, like, it's one of those things, I guess, a hit or miss, especially with topics. But, you know, I'm going to continue shooting it for the hit. But... Basically, what I want to talk about is reputation because a lot of people, I don't know, maybe they uh, they get reputation twisted as far as like what actually gives you a reputation. But before I even get into that, I'm just going to tell everybody reputation means absolutely shit to me. Like it, it just doesn't mean nothing anymore because at the end of the day, when it comes to bullets, that's the only one that really cares about reputations. And what a bullet does is snatch that reputation from you. You can be a king, a god, whatever. At the end of the day, if you if you flesh and bone and, and you bleed, a motherfucker take that away from you. So you can have a reputation one day and the next day you don't even exist. And the only one that's really going to feel it outside of a few choice homies is going to be like your head fire, your jefito, like, you know, your parents. is the only one that's really going to feel it. Maybe if you got kids or, you know, you're leaving uh, some siblings behind but other than that nobody's gonna really care so you know uh, as far as reputation i don't care you know what i mean i know uh one guy in particular you know what i mean uh he came on the channel and basically uh went into something about like because i tried to do a video well i did the the interview with kev mack he said something along the lines of uh kev mack only interviews reputables and that i'm in fact not reputable which i found kind of funny but at the end of the day i kind of just let that go because it was like where was I really gonna go with it? But I'm not speaking to the older cats. I'm speaking to the younger ones that might be on this channel and may feel at some time that, uh, or not even that you feel, but you know, other people might feel that I'm trying to lead you astray. Maybe I'm glorifying prison. I don't glorify prison because at the end of the day, uh, getting a reputation in there and having a reputation on the street is two different things. There's a lot of people still incarcerated. Uh, that are still putting in uh, major work and a lot of them are in the shoe and a lot of them are just never going to get out. So that's that's their state of mind and that's the frame of mind that they got to continuously have. Like it's like when, when you're incarcerated, it's no, it, there's no use uh, wiring yourself down in order to go home. Keep that same energy that you had when you came in. Only different. The only difference is when you get in there, you can't be as wild. You got to be a lot more structured. Do things according to a certain way. Respect goes a long way when it when it comes to that. So as far as a reputation, like some, uh, I don't know. The guy said something along the line that he did like 50 years in the shoe, like 22 or 20, whatever. It was a long ass time in the shoe. And kudos to him. You know what I mean? He also said something along the lines that. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't doing time in the 80s, which, I mean, I said I'm 40, so that would mean that I couldn't have been doing time in the 80s unless you're talking about you in the hall. So that was a clarify that real quick. And, and just to say, like, like if you did shoe programs, you know what I mean, and you've been doing this since the 80s and you were in the Thunderdome, kudos to you if you're still surviving. But at the end of the day, like, on the street, that shit, vale pito, you know what I mean? It don't mean absolutely nothing. You know what I'm saying? Because nobody really cares. Uh, it's a prime example. You had Nipsey Hussle out there doing his thing, working on his community, really uh, putting it in in order to take his homies to the next level. And one buster came and smoked him and knocked the king off the map. Just one motherfucker. And that's what I'm saying. A lot of people like to... And, and that's the thing what people fail to realize. Sorry about the zooming in and out. People like to build you up, but as soon as you start getting money... They knock your ass down. And that and, and that's just basically what I saw on the post and it kind of resonated. And, and and I seen it. Cause there's cats that I used to fuck with tight. But the once I started to gain a little notoriety on YouTube, as if 
they they act like it's like some celebrity shit. So now it's like you they assume that I'm making a lot of money and that jealousy starts to come into play. And maybe uh, you know, they don't feel looked out as much for so now it's like, you know, you kinda get the salty end of it. But yeah, that's that's all I'm saying on that as far as reputation. It ain't worth shit. It ain't worth nothing. My reputation is still haunting me. It's like there's, all, there's always going to be the chance that there's going to be motherfuckers that feel some type of way because maybe their homies got killed or maybe their homies got shot or maybe stabbed or beat the fuck up, like whatever. They're going to feel some type of way about it. So it's always that one individual that can catch you on the street. Remember who you are because now it's like people really remember. So it's like all it takes is one individual to take you out. So for the people that's living that fantasy life that, that really think that this shit is, you know, fun and games, you need to really... You know, do a reality check and realize at the end of the day, the same reputation that you striving to uphold and striving to continue and striving to get will be the shit that puts you in a casket in the end. You know what I mean? And that's not shooting anything at gangs. Like some people might be mad because I don't come on here and I don't, uh, you know, knock gangs down. That's not my job to be on here uh, telling people not to get in gangs. My 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 job as a as an older homie is to guide fools in a way to where you know they they might reconsider doing certain things. It's like you I might be the voice in the dark when when a motherfucker go to blow somebody's brains out and he turn around and be like you know what that's that fool's odd basically said this and that so basically he already know where he's gonna go and he refrained from doing that because anybody can take life anybody can smash on you may not win them all but you smash on some. And it, and it just comes down to that. That's what an older homie does. He tells his younger homies basically uh, the best way to do things. Now, the ones that lead you astray, ain't your, them ain't your homies. Them are just motherfuckers that want to see you do bad because they doing bad and they don't really care. But, yeah, I know I went around in circles, you know what I'm saying? But And a lot of people might feel some type of way about it. But at the end of the day, look, at reputation don't mean exactly nothing. Because anybody can kill you. Shit, for anybody that's really been in the game for a long time, you know, them are the ones you wanted to knock down. It's like once you start to gain a rep, everybody want to smoke you. It's just the way it is. And back in the days, it's like, I know a gang of fools that, like, you know, that they were Crips and Bloods that they got reputations and they end up dying because motherfuckers head hung for them purposely. Back in the days, who remember when you used to put a circle around a fool's uh name don't, don't even whack his neighborhood out just circle his name and put an x through it so motherfuckers know that that's the one you wanted to get you know what i mean and i've had that put on my name a few times and that's just what i what i'm trying to say to cats that really want to live you know uh vicariously through others and guys that still want to you know that they're like in their 70s and they still want to be that gangster motherfucker at the end of the day motherfuckers will remove you from the street and it's been proven Nipsey Hussle was a prime example and that's not to bring dude up but it's just like look what happens you know what I'm saying like and and and, and that's what happens dude you know what I mean so yeah for the people thinking about getting a reputation I'm not here to tell you not to I'm just telling you once you get it know the the ramification behind uh earning yourself a name even the same in prison earning yourself a name can bite you in your ass because at the end of the day you don't want you're, you're pretty much the one motherfucker that everybody looks at they expect you to do there's people that expected me to get out and still want to try to blow dudes heads off uh and, and for the most part when i did get out i still was kind of like on that edge but then i learned it to, I, I learned to slide back i still got people in my hood that expect me to you know drop everything and show up but i just don't do that like uh, Blackie has never danced to nobody's tune. I've always did me the way I felt I needed to do me. I never was one of those fools that just kicked in the hood, didn't want to put in the work. I was never that tight. But now, like I said, that shit, it doesn't matter. It, it really doesn't matter. Like, the rep that you're trying to earn, like I said, either haunts you in the future or puts you in the grave site. You know what I mean? It's just, they got tombstones for cats like that. And for the ones that are really out there trying to get that reputation, like I said, just just be weary about it because you're the you're the main fools that they try to knock off. It's been happening for years and it's going to continue to happen. And if you're one of those fools that's like me, that's on the come up and trying to get you, you got to move a lot easier. Like I still be out there. I'm not pulling up in South Central, walking down streets or down the streets of Compton because I already know it's grimy. And it's not that, it's not the fact of being afraid, it's the fact of being smart. That motherfuckers see you, especially if you get any type of notoriety like on, on, on like here on YouTube or Instagram. Motherfuckers have no, nothing else to do but try to remove you from the equation. Especially if you can't, if they can't get money with you, you ain't try to put no money in their pocket. 
and it's crazy because it'll be a cat that you don't even know that expect you to put some money in his pocket and when you don't he plotting on your demise you know what i'm saying so don't be that cat you know what i'm saying if you're older and you want to kick it just kick it let these youngsters do what they're gonna do but just guide them because at the end of the day like i said a reputation don't mean shit it just means more bullets for your forehead or your lower torso or whatever you know what i mean so yeah that's basically all i want to say on that you know what i mean this is more not so much as a rant it's just one of those videos just to let everybody know you know what i mean that reputation don't mean exactly shit at the end of the day you know what i mean because there's a million motherfuckers that got a rep even stronger than yours and people are steadily trying to kill them so yeah just be smart and uh anybody in the comment that's on that little weird shit just go ahead and you know remove yourself from the channel because uh you're negative when you're within yourself you know what i mean and i'm never gonna water it down for no beset or nothing like if you're a pc you're a snitch i don't want you here you know what i mean i may be going in a positive way but i'm never gonna respect that and no child molester and anybody that supports that movement you can drop zod i don't care i'll still be me in the end and on that note you want to enjoy the rest of your day i'm zod uh be checking out this live reaction that we're about to do i think it's on something duck uh but anyway, so go ahead and check that out at Neil Tazad, well, K2Zad, uh, and Boss Savvy, you know what I mean? And we're out. Yeah. Huh.